Precious. Hey, this is your man Lamar Darnell. She is at the National Youth at Risk Conference. Of course, this is a national conference on 1,500 young people. I mean, 1,500 adults at this conference. But I came across some of the youngest people that are at this conference who are doing some amazing things. Talk about what you guys are doing. Um, my name is Aaron Wilson from Indio, California. And I'm the founder of Eight Brothers Amazing the Intellectual and Talented. We are a poetry group trying to break the stereotypes of African American guys. And this is Shaylee. I'm Shaylee Hatch, and I'm from Idaho. And I actually run my own nonprofit organization called the Temporary Home Foundation, and it aids to the kids in foster care systems. So, young people, you had a national youth at risk conference. There are no young, you are the youngest people in the building. <laughs> How does it feel some adults talking about you guys or considering you guys at risk? Well, uh, not that at risk, but I feel very humble for you know, adults to be coming up to me and really being genuine about what I'm trying to do. So. It just puts me at ease, really. Okay. And so you're holding a book, Miss Shane. What is this book about? This book has the story of not only us, but four other amazing young people as well, and their stories of their nonprofits and all the community work that they're doing as well. And it's been such an honor, as he said, to be a part of this book. And it's great. And I've never been or had a, a more amazing experience in my life. So. So being, a, so being a young person, doing work, taking care and supporting young people at a very young age, I mean, what inspired or what encouraged you guys to do this work? Using spoken word poetry as a way to engage young people, you know, what inspired you to do that type of work? Um, it just, it really, it really is a passion of mine, and I don't know, it just came out in a way. My friend Glenn Sanchez, he's from Los Angeles, California. He really motivated myself to do it, but he didn't come back to Langston University, so I I stepped out. So he gave you that spot. Yes. And you're doing work for children in foster care. What type of work? Describe that. Well, right now, I'm just kind of getting it started, but my goal the next year is to be able to fund at least a few girls who are aging out of the foster care system to help fund college for them. I want them to know that they have a big potential and they can do whatever they want to do. Well, I'm excited to be at the National Youth Edwards Conference to actually meet some young people that are not at risk. We hate that word. We're going to talk about that on the next show. <laughs> These are not at risk youth. These are at promise. These are young people doing some amazing things. So hopefully you can come next year to the National Youth at Risk Conference in Savannah, Georgia. How can they get a copy of the book? Go to inspirationalyouth.com. Say it one more time. Inspirationalyouthbook.com. Inspirational. Book. Inspirational book. Com. Inspirational Youth Book Talk. Where did that voice come from? <laughs> Say it again. Where should they go and get the book from? InspirationalYouthBook.com. Say it one more time. Move your mouth while she's saying it. InspirationalYouthBook.com. I want to pick it up. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. <laughs>